So how many yes are you going to travel more? You uh, don't know? I, I'd, I'd like to be home at the end of end of summer. End of summer, okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness, <laughs> so interesting. Hi. Okay. Hi. 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 That was a really, really cold night and I definitely need to get some things to keep my feet warm. I'm in Japan in Hokkaido and I arrived here a few days ago. It's a big shock to the system. I've been in Southeast Asia and hot, humid countries for the last year and now coming somewhere where it's, you know, minus numbers in the day and very, very low, it has really shocked me. I'm in a thermal, a t-shirt, the Zoa insulated, the Zoa rain jacket, a buff, a hat, trousers, big socks, and like, it's still so, so cold. For a bit of context, I just arrived from Taiwan, and Taiwan was an amazing, amazing time. I started in Taipei, and I rode south through the island, going through Taichung, through Tainan, and then a little bit round to the east coast as well. Taiwan's a really nice place to bike pack. It's kind of so easy to do it there. The infrastructure is really good. The people are very friendly. So many times I got offered uh, things to keep on my journey. Like one time I went to a place and I was the first foreign customer there. So she gave me some beans. I got given cake and food, shown places to stay. I got given beer, betel nut, tea, everything. You know, so many like thumbs ups out the window in Taiwan. And it was a really great time. I was there for about three weeks in total. My route there was beautiful. And that's not through good planning or anything. I think it's just every single road in Taiwan is just amazing to cycle. But now I have a long time ahead of me in Japan as I ride south. I need to be in Kyoto on the 25th. I'm really excited because I should be meeting my parents and it's going to be a really, really fun time. Um, so I'm going to do a little loop here in Hokkaido and then I'm going to continue south, get the ferry over to Honshu and ride through the island. I'm really excited for Japan. I never expected to, to be here or be in a lot of the countries that I've been to on this journey. But when I was in Taiwan, you have to have an exit flight to be able to enter the country. So I thought, yeah, I'll book that to Japan. It's, it's not so far. It's in the same part of the world and I think it would be, uh, I think I'd miss a lot if I didn't come here. Ah, oh, but it's so cold and I'm trying to keep it together whilst recording this, but I'm freezing. So I'm going to pack up my stuff. Um, I'm not sure exactly the places that I'm going to end up today. You know, I never really decide that until the morning of. I just have like a rough idea in my head. So I'll pack this up. I am going to head somewhere where I can charge my phone for a bit and get some warm, warm food. And then we'll continue hey. through the day. So let's cycle through Japan. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> So I'm headed today to a place called uh, Furano. It's about another 60k 
from where I am now, which is uh, Lake Kura, Kurazawa or something like that. I can't, can't remember, there's a lot of syllables in it. There's something about this place which is just making me want to ride so and take it super relaxed. Like, it's so peaceful. I'm listening to the Portico Quartet on uh, in my earphones. It's just so relaxing because it's around lunchtime and I'm going to stop for some food. And once I do that, oh, it says caution, icy. And then once I do that, I'll probably just send it yeah, to Ferrano, and I don't know if I'll camp tonight. It depends if there's like a sport equipment shop, because I do need to buy some like thick like rugby socks or something like that to wear in the night and over my shoes. And so we'll see kind of how it goes. But places are super expensive here, so it's like there's no way I can uh, justify to myself to fork out for somewhere. But look at that, absolutely. That's the way to Ferrano. That's the way to central, central somewhere. I think I'm not gonna go to Ferrano because that way looks rough and that way looks less rough and I need some food and I, I gotta get dry. My feet, my, my toes are gonna fall off any minute now, I swear. So yeah, change of plan. Everything's in my bag. It's been like hailing and raining. So I don't want anything to get wet and damaged. So we go this way instead. I made it to the uh, to the town. It was a lot further away than I thought it was going to be. So now I'm just like feasting my eyes on all the food. I've already got this from like the hot section, but yeah, I don't know. What, I don't know what else to pick. How does it sort of crunchy for just corner shop food? Oh, that is banging. Hmm. This snow could be a bit of a problem today. <laughs> I woke up and it was so, so heavy. <clears throat> Some climbing to get over to get to uh, Ashikawa, I think it's called, which is the next place ahead. So I just had some food now. I'll, I'll see how it goes really. Like I'm, I'm kind of nervous. So I'm just gonna take it easy, relaxed, you know, no risks or anything like that. Um, but at the town up ahead, I think it's a ski town. So I'm thinking that I buy some more thermals and just figure figure something out. Maybe they have some like waterproof socks as well, which would be like amazing to get. Because it's pretty sketchy. So yeah, day three to Ashikawa. It's the descents that I'm nervous of. Not because of the ice, just because I want to look around everywhere. Because <laughs> everything's just so beautiful. So the tactic right now is ride on the snow. Because that is ice and this has grip to it. I've got about another 20k to go until shit. Back to the snow. Uh, Ashi, Ashi But look at this, it's so cold. 
<laughs> and you can see that. All right? Can you see that? All under here, just completely frozen. So I was having a bit of a dilemma. The bike's frozen outside. Uh, I've just like smashed the ice off it, off the chain, off the mech, off the wheels. But my dilemma was that it gets colder further north from here for the next couple of days. And it's just too, it's too cold to ride in. Like my feet are freezing and without overshoes, my feet just get wet. And then that's when they get real cold. So I checked the trains to maybe turn south, get the train back to Sapporo so I don't have to ride what I just did. However, to get the bike on the train in Japan, you have to have this bag. You can't just take the bike on. And I don't know where to get the bag and like, so I'm just gonna make it to the city. I'm gonna stop, stop in a McDonald's, charge my stuff up because every McDonald's here has charges and just like, just turn back south. I can't, I can't keep riding north. And I can't think straight, but yeah, let's, uh, let's carry on. Not possible. Okay, but on the uh, on the on the train I can, but I just need the bag. Uh, I can only take folding bikes ah, yeah, yeah, on the bus. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Amazing. Wow. By train, mm -hmm. I just need to get a bag to put the bicycle inside. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. If you back, uh, back to Asahikawa, uh, keep. Yeah. Keep the bike here. Yes. Oh, yeah, I'll. I, I would. I wouldn't come back because I'd ah. go to Sapporo and cycle to cycle south to ha ha Hakodate. Oh, very yeah. far. <laughs> yeah, very far. But yeah, amazing. Thank you. Thank you for your help. No problem. You saw. For summer. For winter, yeah, yeah for, <laughs> for now. Uh, yeah. Trying to decide between this one, this one here, or that one. For Should add some warmth to make the camping a bit more, a bit more bearable with my with my sleeping bag, because mine only goes down to maybe like two degrees or something like that, and it's way colder, way way colder. I made this at the bike shop. I've walked in, I can't see anyone. But maybe, I don't know. Is this what I need? No, it's a great shop. It's got that smell of any great bike shop, which is just oil and grease. I think that's what I want. Looking at the picture. Oh, it's so expensive. So expensive. A whole lot of running around today. It's got the cellar tape so that I can seal the box. It's quite expensive tape, but they're not charging me for the box, so it's a couple hundred yen over over five thousand yen. So big savings today. Arigato. Yeah, it's one hundred percent my chain ring. Yeah, station. Station. Yeah. Hi, hi. Thank you. Good time. Hunt it. Go Oh, we swapped. That's yeah, that's a great idea. Let me. Wait, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I can, I, I okay, can do okay. it from here. Yeah. Thank you so much. Arigato gozaimasu. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, that's
I think this is the biggest, biggest city in Hokkaido. It's the second uh, uh, Asahi where, where I was today. That's my favorite <laughs> of these. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what it is. It's kimchi. Kimchi is good. Okay. You like you like kimchi. Yeah. Yeah. Budo just messaged me on Instagram a few years ago. He cycled a 10,000 kilometer loop around Japan. Supposed to be going to Thailand for something and then COVID hit. So what he did, because he said he'd already uh, agreed to sell the place he was at, instead of finding somewhere else, he just said, oh, I'll, just, I'll just cycle around Japan. So he went with his best friend and they did an eight month journey <laughs> covering, yeah, like everywhere. He's a super cool guy and yeah, he just messaged to say, look, dude, you know, so many people helped me out when I was cycling around Japan. If you need somewhere to stay in Sapporo, you know, stay at, stay at his place. So. It's a Soybeans, but uh, this is only it in Japanese. But some people like it, some people don't like it, right? Yes. What, it's too... Too fermented. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always nervous trying like the controversial foods in case I don't like it. <laughs> I don't really know what the taste is. But it's not a bad taste. <laughs> <laughs> but it's mm. slimy. Mm. Mm. But I will wash it down with green tea. Custom. <laughs> <Pasta. laughs> I just say bye to, to Yudo. He's going to, he needs to drop some stuff off somewhere. And I'm going to continue to the specialized store. I was talking to, to Jin and he said if there's anything that I needed to let them know and I said if there's any overshoes around I'd love to be able to to use some and keep my toes warm. The, 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 one, the one around here, that would be more like main, main ones. Like busier, busier ones. Yeah, like this, this, this room. I'm so bursting for the toilet right now. That is so much better. Holding that for so long. Building back onto the train station so everyone on the platform will be able to see me taking the piss. Respect, respect the rules. Hakodate, 300 kilometers south of here. I'll probably follow the coastal road. Uh, it might not be the most scenic one, but the other ones, I go through the mountains. The, the, the team yesterday said that it would just be impassable to, to go through there at the moment, up on, up on the pass. So I'll take the coastal route with like some little dips like inland, as, as I like to do. See how it goes. <laughs> OK, 
matches, I need to get to Osaka on the 24th. I'm not gonna have time and I'd be very, very rushed. So I decided what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it the way that I like to do it and take it all in and not worry about the time. Once, wherever I am on the 23rd or 24th, that's when I'll get the uh, bullet train down to Osaka and meet my parents there. about to board the ferry to get over to Aomori from uh, Hakodate. 